This tutorial shows how to use Docker to set up a Java developing environment. The code for this tutorial is available on GitHub. This tutorial supports Eclipse, IdeaJ, and NetBeans IDEs. Please have the following prerequisites installed, Docker, a Java IDE, and a JDK. Let's get started. Download the Labs repository from GitHub. Part 2, Building the Application. Open NetBeans. You click on Open Project and navigate to the directory where you downloaded the Labs repository. Go to Developer Tools, Java Debugging, and select App. NetBeans will automatically load the POM file and import the project. For this tutorial, we'll be looking at user.java, user service implementation.java, and a brief look at the ROT13 or Rotation13 file. To build the application, click on Build Project, and NetBeans will automatically build the project and in the console will notify you if the build was successful. Part 3, Running the Application. Let's start the application development environment using Docker. Go into the Labs, Developer Tools, Java Debugging directory. As you can see, there's a docker-compose.yaml file. We'll use that to start up the environment. Use docker-compose up to start, which will start building the images for both the web server and the database. While this is running, let's take a look at the docker-compose.yaml file. As you can see, there are two services defined, a database and a web server. The database has names the images, sets a couple environment variables, and opens a port for the client. With the web server, again, the image is named, and we do also define a mount volume from our local GitHub repository to the Docker instance of the web server. And we create a linkage between the database and the web server, and open the ports for both the application server and for debugging. Next, we'll look at the Docker file for the database. We use a standard MySQL image, create the database and the tables using a script, plus set some environment variables. The Docker file for Tomcat uses Tomcat 7 and Java Runtime Environment 8. We'll set a couple of user parameters, as well as copy over the JDPC driver for MySQL. We'll create a directory for the mount point and open up ports for both Tomcat plus the debugging port. When Docker finishes bringing up Tomcat and MySQL, we can go to the Tomcat homepage and click on the Manager app. We can log in using System Manager as the password. This brings us to the Manager page. As you can see, there are the default apps from Tomcat, as well as our own application called User Signup. Clicking on User Signup will bring us to our application page, which is DockerCon registration in 2035. Part 4, Debugging the Application. We'll start using the application by signing up Gordon the Turtle for DockerCon 2035. So we'll give Gordon a username, Gordon of course, a password, his first and last name, his date of birth, and his email address. All this information will be copied from this form and saved in the database. Go ahead and click Yes to save him. Now we'll log in to see Gordon's registration. Go ahead and click Yes to save him. Now we'll log in to see Gordon's registration. Oh no! Let's look at the code to see what the problem is with his registration. Let's look at the code. First, we'll attach the debugger to Tomcat. Note that it's pointing to port 8000, as we established before. 
and the mint beans is connected to Tomcat. Next, we'll look and see how the password is set when we register a user. Note that we use rotation 13 to scramble up the password. We'll set a breakpoint in order to see the value of the password that's entered. Next, we'll create a new user, Moby. Moby's password is M0BY. We'll enter first name, last name, and date of birth, which happens to be when Docker was first released. And of course, Moby's email. Let's look at the value that was entered. In the password string, it's Moby. However, this isn't the password that gets entered into the database because rotation 13 has been performed on it. So to see what that actual value is, we'll go ahead and set a breakpoint on the get getter for password, the get password. Again, we'll get Moby to log in. As you see, Moby's logged in, and the password that's actually in the database is Z0OL. Let's turn off the breakpoint, return password, and we'll look at user service implementation where we check the password that we've entered from the form with the password against the database. So you notice that the password does not get trans transformed by rotation 13. To fix this, we'll import the class rotation 13. And for the purposes of this tutorial, we'll create a new string variable, password, that is the password that's entered in the form with rotation 13. Where the password from the form and the password from the database is compared, we'll change the variable name, save file, and then Moby will again try to log in. Let's look at the values for password that's been rotated password is z00l, and then the user password is also z00l, or c0ol. So if we let the code run, we see that Moby was able to log in. So to summarize, what we've done is set up a Maven application from GitHub. We've built Docker images for Tomcat and MySQL, and then used Docker Compose to run Tomcat and MySQL containers. We established remote debugging in Tomcat, and we debugged a live Spring MVC application using containers.